I'm on my way yeah. Yes, I'm on my way We just made it to Little Rock. It is four o'clock and the sun is actually still up. We didn't know if we would get here whenever it's dark. So we made it. Yay, it's Gary's first time to Little Rock. His trazodone worked like a charm. He slept the whole time, so that made all the difference. He is stress-free and did not mind the car at all. So, success. That is such a huge relief. All right, so let's get everything unpacked at Nick's parents and check out Little Rock. day and we are in Little Rock. It is so chilly here today but we had a rough night of sleep last night. Little Gary was not um, having a good night. I think he just didn't know where he was. Obviously this is his first time that he's been here and wanted to play with Piper, Nick's parents little dog and she is still getting used to his energy. I think he's not hyper. He just loves to play and I say that I know that everybody says that. He really isn't that crazy at all but so they'll get used to each other eventually but so it's it's, it was an interesting night to say the least so we just drove around to a bunch of our old neighborhoods that we actually flipped houses in to check them out because the tornado that went through in March absolutely devastated these neighborhoods they just don't even look like the same place we'll try to get some shots so that you guys can check it out it's just so sad but we are so thankful that nobody they actually had no casualties throughout the whole storm which is crazy to me they did have sadly a bunch of dogs and um, and cats went missing during that and I think they're probably still looking for some of them um, but this the neighborhoods itself it just looks totally different so it is just so weird to see we haven't been home to Little Rock in over a year or a little bit over a year so it's just strange to see how what a year can do with the time span of all the crazy weather that happened and it just Little Rock doesn't really ever get hit with anything because it's kind of hilly so it's just not one of those big open spaces where storms can just gather a lot of strength but this one was huge and it took out so many homes so they are rebuilding and I think they're obviously glad to be on the other side of it and making progress but it just doesn't look the same all the mature trees in the neighborhoods are gone and it just doesn't even look anything like what it used to so we were just curious how that all would be whenever we got here so we definitely wanted to check that out but we are gonna go grab some breakfast really quick and then I have some work to do today so gonna sit by the computer and then we'll see what else we get up to We grabbed coffee at Myla's and it was super packed in there. So we just grabbed our food to go and now we're going to go for a little walk in Hillcrest, one of the neighborhoods that we used to live in. And it's such a cute little spot over here. So just a little bit chilly, but it's a good way to wake up. It is the next day and we are at Hillcrest Little Bakery, one of our favorite breakfast spots in Little Rock. 
and they have the best homemade biscuits here so we have not been here in a while so we're excited to get a little bit of something to eat and then we are about to take our e-bikes out on the Arkansas River Trail so we have not ridden them here yet because last year I don't think we brought them with us and it was also two degrees it was freezing it is still cold today so we brought our layers with us but I think we can still get in a pretty good trail ride so I'm excited to vlog with you guys and show you all of the Arkansas River Trail because we have not been able to do that yet we're always in Florida so now you guys can see what it looks like here in the natural state so let's go get something to eat really quick and then we'll head over to the trail to the trail. Let's go for a ride. Alright, so we are at the Big Dam Bridge and it is actually the longest pedestrian bridge in the U.S. It is really it doesn't look so big from the camera but when you see it in person it is about a mile distance all the way across and it takes you over to the north little rock side and this is the arkansas river so it's burns park on that side and they also got hit by the tornado earlier this year but supposedly they've kind of rebuilt it a little better it's just a lot of the trees are down so this is one of our favorite trails to go to um, here in Little Rock and you can go across it underneath and go over to Two Rivers Bridge which is the other side so we'll probably do that for this ride. We just hit a thousand miles on our e-bikes and so far so good. So a thousand miles in, who knows how many to go. <laughs> We made it to our little stopping point over here right by the river 
It is so chilly, you guys. We have on our layers, we do have heated gloves and we left them at home, which is a total regret. But we have these, which totally do the job, but the heated ones would be a little bit better for days like today. It's in the 40s. It's supposed to climb to the 50s and 60s, but it's not sunny at all, so we're extra chilly. <laughs> we are not in Florida anymore. But it is so nice out here. We used to come here all the time for so many walks and runs and rides. And so it's fun to have our e-bikes and get to check everything everything out a little bit faster and a little bit easier. <laughs> so we're just gonna sit over here, rest a little bit. Nick's gonna get some drum clips and then we will head back to the car. So we've only done five miles, 4.93 technically, which isn't too bad, but you can go for miles and miles. I'm pretty sure over 20 miles is on the river trail. So it goes all the way to downtown Little Rock. You can go to North Little Rock, like I said earlier, and just do all kinds of different loops. So that's why we love it over here so much because it's just so nice to be out in nature, not have to worry about cars or anything like that and there's plenty of room for everybody to spread out so one of our favorite spots and we love that we're getting to show you guys some of our favorite parts of Little Rock. We did about 10 miles total. We are absolutely frozen. I feel like my face is so windburned. And also there's such a difference in the air here because my skin is so dry compared to where we are down at the beach with the humidity. So I've been using so much moisturizer, but I feel like I need a little bit more because my face is dry. I feel like my mouth is even numb just from riding, but we are done. That was so much fun. And we're so glad that we brought our e-bikes this time. So now we're gonna head back home and about to go pick up Nick's brother from the airport. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Today is Friday, and I am just stopping by my mom's this morning because we are about to head out for a day of shopping. I am one of those people that is a complete last minute Christmas shopper, and I have bought nothing. And Christmas is this weekend, so we have a lot to tackle over today. Still have to buy food to make for Christmas Day, and just all the things. So I am about to head into my mom's, and we're gonna go shopping.
Little Gary and me and Nick are on our way to my sister's house to spend Christmas Day. Yesterday we hung out with Nick's family for Christmas Eve and we did all sorts of fun bung bunga. All sorts bungie. of fun <laughs> bingo games and then we did a little bit of white elephant which was really fun and we did scratch offs and I got $20 on a scratch off so that's a win. So it was really fun to see everybody and then today should be just as fun. So we'll bring you guys along for Christmas Day with my family and Gary is going to meet his cousins <laughs> for the first time so he should be in for a fun day too and it's his first Christmas with us so we're excited to give him his little treats from Santa. from them to heaven that the shepherds said to one another let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass which the Lord has made known to us. <laughs> 